Hey there, quirky peeps. I hope you're all doing well. Well, obviously, you would be, because Marvel just launched the best MCU trailer of 2022 so far. Thor Love and Thunder is going to rock the theaters. The new trailer gave us Zeus, Naked Thor, Gore the God Butcher, King Valkyrie, Korg, and the Mighty Thor. But there are still characters like Lady Sif who are yet to show up. There is plenty that this movie has to offer us, and we've only seen glimpses of what's really in store for us. Taika Waititi has written and directed a very colorful and beautiful looking romantic action comedy. But there's a lot of heartfelt emotions that this film will subject us to when we finally watch it. Gore is going to kill many gods. This is my vow. All gods shall die. Guessing by Valkyrie using the thunderbolt of Zeus against him, Gore might attack Olympus and kill off Zeus. So with all his killings, people have been left asking whether Thor will die in Thor 4. They want to know if Thor Love and Thunder will be Chris Hemsworth's last MCU movie. <laughs> well, you're right. Before we tell you the answer, it'd be amazing if you guys would hit the subscribe button. And we've got some cool stuff on our channel, so be sure to check that out as well. Okay now, about Thor. Even in the absence of Captain America and Iron Man, the MCU certainly has a lot of other big hitters. But it's important that Thor sticks around. Hawkeye has seemingly retired, while Hulk is busy training his cousin. Rumors suggest that Smart Hulk will leave planet Earth once again. So, Thor might be the only original Avenger who remains active. Ever since Thor Ragnarok, the love for Chris Hemsworth's Thor has risen rapidly. Because that's what heroes do. And when we got the Bring Me Thanos shot, that's when everyone realized the true cinematic potential the God of Thunder holds. Bring me Thanos! After that, Thor became very relatable to us regular humans. Avengers Endgame portrayed him as a failure who was finding the strength to become the man he once was. So, Thor has been on quite the journey, and people have loved all of his phases. He may not be the strongest Avenger, but he could certainly be people's favorite Avenger right now. Every time he is in a movie, he brings in a lot of power and hype with him. Chris Hemsworth's comic timing has only gotten better with time. So if you ask me, I'd say that Thor will certainly not die in Love and Thunder. I mean, yes, there is a possibility that Marvel could choose to kill him off. Here's why Thor could die. There are two major reasons. The first reason is that we're getting a new Thor through Jane Foster. Jane? And secondly, he is going to take on Gore the God Butcher. The name of this villain is enough to strike fear into the hearts of all Thor fans. The trailers have proven that he will kill a lot of gods, so he could have Thor's number on his list too. After all, he is a literal god killer, and Thor could sacrifice himself to save Jane and the others. And I've got several other reasons for why Thor will not die. Let me start this section with what Chris Hemsworth had to say about this. Last year, when he was asked about leaving the MCU after Love and Thunder, he replied, and I quote, Are you crazy? I'm not going into any retirement period. Thor is far too young for that. He's only 1,500 years old. It's definitely not a film that I say goodbye to this brand. At least I hope so. So yeah, this is the first reason why he will not be put down in the fourth Thor movie. Hemsworth is not ready to go out. He says that Thor is pretty young by his Guardian standards, and he himself is just 38. With the kind of love he has for fitness and his workout regimen, I think he could maintain his shape for at least a decade, if not more. He could actually carry this character on until the 2030s if Marvel wants that. What's it been like? Three? Four years? <laughs> Eight years, seven months and six days. Give or take. But let's not go that far ahead in time just yet. Let's talk about the story of Love and Thunder. The death of Thor in the movie will not make sense just yet, because towards the second half of Endgame, he finally started to reinvent himself. For the first time in his life, he is not going to be the person he was supposed to be. Rather, he will become the person he wants to be. He will become the best version of himself while traveling along with the Asgardians. And he will rekindle his long-lost love story with Jane Foster. So in many ways, Love and Thunder is a new beginning for Thor. And how can a major character die right when he gets his fresh start? I believe that this is the film where he gets his true Thor force. He will defeat the God Butcher for sure, and he will at least star in another Avengers film and another Thor film. After all, someone like him will be needed against Kang. 
So no, Thor Love and Thunder will not be Chris Hemsworth's last MCU film. Okay, that's all for now. Smash those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out some more fun content on our channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!